Straightallday.com. Straight players ask me about specific shoes for speed and quickness or for jumping or for strength or stability. Are there any specific shoes that you personally recommend for any of those aspects of the game? Maybe a speed quickness shoe that's the best, a jumping shoe that's the best, a strength shoe that's the best. Me personally, I never really thought that mattered, but being that you know more about sneakers than I do, let us know. So a lot of players might be surprised, but there really is no shoe that is best for anything. Um, it's all about what you're comfortable with. That's why I try to go over as much detail as possible with all of these performance reviews. Um, if you want flexibility because you feel like that helps you, um, cushion, fit, all of that kind of stuff, those are the things that you'll want to look for on a personal level. Um, there is not one shoe or feature that will give you a boost of athletic ability or skill or anything like that. That's all on you. Um, as, as Jay would say, you got to work on your game. When you are or when you were playing at your highest level on a basketball court, what shoes were you wearing and how do you think those shoes affected your performance or affect your performance? Uh, back in high school, the, the best sneaker that I used to play in while I was playing basketball on the high school level was the Airfly 89. Um, they were a first time retro back then and it was basically 1989 kind of tag. I had a polyurethane midsole and all that stuff and it didn't affect my game in a negative way. I just know that my feet hurt every night. I get a lot of blisters and stuff like that from those shoes. Um, so I ended up putting in a different insole and that helped out quite a bit. Uh, as far as recently goes, I mean I've played in, man, I've played in almost every single shoe it feels like anyway since like 2009 so I can't really pick one in particular. I just you know, I really like the Air Jordan 28, um, a lot of the retro stuff, uh, the Air Jordan 13, 14, uh, the Air Jordan 12, so stuff like that. I don't really have like a, like there's like my favorite or whatever, but um, I just play in pretty much everything. What are your favorite on-court basketball shoes of all time and why? If I were to go out on court basically right now and I could pick any shoe that I'd play in, it would probably be a toss-up between the, the Reebok Question or the Nike Zoom Flight 98, which is also known as a glove. Um, either Iverson's shoe or Gary Payton's shoe. Those are just two of my favorites to play in. I think they're the most fun to play in um, personally, and uh, I just really enjoy those. When you're selecting a basketball sneaker, what aspects of the sneaker do you pay attention to the most? If you could give us, say, your top five aspects of a shoe when you're choosing one for yourself to play in, what do you look for the most? Um, as far as somebody else looking for a shoe, the attributes that I use on the uh, review scores or scorecard, or the, the ones that I actually go through on a review, would be uh, traction, cushion, material fit, ventilation, and support. Those are the, I think those are six, but those are... Those are the, the key uh, ones that most people look at. Um, you can kind of narrow that down uh, for a personal player. Um, like me, it's maybe like between two, it's gonna, or maybe three. Uh, first one would be traction. You've got to have great traction so I don't slip and slide on the court. Uh, the next one is, is that I want good cushion. And the next one is uh, fit. So I want like a perfect lockdown and all that kind of stuff so I'm not possibly rolling an ankle and all that stuff, but it's pretty much different for everybody. Um, but the things that I cover on a performance review are, in my opinion, the most important attributes to look out for on a performance model. What upcoming sneakers that have not been released yet are you most excited about and why? Um, I don't really have one that I'm really, really looking forward to other than maybe the, the Nike Zoom Flight 98 Retro, the gloves. Um, those are coming out this year. As far as like an encore or performance model, um, and maybe the Mellow M10s, I think that those are going to be pretty cool. Um, that's from Jordan Brands. And then, oh, the LeBron 11, I think that those are going to be amazing. So that, that's probably the top one that I'm looking forward to. What does the phrase, work on your game, mean to you? So personally, uh, work on your game means hone your craft uh, to me, no matter what it is you're doing. You could be playing a different sport, it could be work or whatever it is. If you don't work on your game, you're going to get left behind and me personally I want to be the best there is at what I do so whether it's reviewing shoes or being a shooter on the floor and all that kind of stuff I want to always make sure that I'm on my game so I got to work hard at that and um, Kevin Durant he always says that uh, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard so you just got to always keep that in mind that even though you're not the most talented person on the court or whatever it is that you're doing as long as you work hard at it you will achieve your goals. Where can we find you on YouTube? Tell us what kind of content you're producing on YouTube. Tell us what you've done in the past. When we look at your old catalog, your back catalog, 
Tell us what you're doing in the present as far as your current videos and tell us what to expect from Nightwing 2303 in the future on YouTube. So my YouTube channel is Nightwing2303, uh, youtube.com slash Nightwing2303. You can hit me up there. Um, I, it's hard to kind of get in touch with me there, but um, that, those are where all my videos are going to be at. Um, as far as my, my past videos, mostly it's just all kind of performance stuff uh, mixed in with some sneaker reviews. And then as far as the present goes, pretty much the same thing, mixed in with a couple of new things like vlogs, which are something that I'm new to. People seem to like those for some reason, and that's that's cool, but um, I'll try to do more of those, uh, maybe, and that's kind of what to expect from me in the future. Uh, hopefully I can upgrade my my presentation and all that kind of stuff. Basically just kind of keep working on my game as far as the YouTube videos are concerned. So that's pretty much what you can uh, expect from me and um, where to find me at. All right, so once all my viewers go and check out your channel and subscribe to you, let's say somebody wants to get in touch with you outside of YouTube, where can we find you? Is there a way to contact you? Are you on any social media sites? Do you have your own website? Let us know. So if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Basically, everything is at Nightwing2303. It's pretty simple. Um, if you want to hit me up on my website, uh, it's kicksoncourt.com. And, um, yeah, if you are trying to actually talk to me, uh, Twitter is probably the easiest. I always respond to everybody on Twitter. Um, Instagram is kind of hard. And uh, the website, you can email me as well. There's a contact button. But again, that, that one's a little bit hard to keep up with. So uh, Twitter is probably the best way. But those are all of my areas that you can kind of follow me at. But yeah, I just I love I love Nike's signature line this year. Um, the LeBron 10, the KD5, and the Kobe 8, all A-plus sneakers. Or not technically A-plus as far as their scorecards go, but they're very, very high up there in the rankings. They all score a 9 or above, and um, at least I'm pretty sure they do. And then uh, if you want to see scores on these guys here, just go to my site, kicksoncourt.com. There's a full written review, breakdown, images, scores, and all that kind of good all right, Nightwing2303, I really appreciate you coming through to work on your game community to share your knowledge, expertise, and getting in touch, touching all these people who might not have heard of you already, though I know a lot of them already have. Right now, I'm opening the floor to you. I appreciate you answering all my questions. I'm opening the floor to you. Anything you want to say, anything you want to share, the floor is yours to share with the work on your game community. Go. I just want to say thanks to everybody that supports me. Thanks to Dre. Um, I think this is really awesome. And um, thanks to everybody that watches the videos, goes to the website, um, watches this video especially, and uh, basically just kind of, you know, keep, keep your head on straight, work on your game, and uh, do what it is you do. Don't let anybody distract you from reaching your goals. This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Work on your game.